that pile of regulations, those books with all the regulations contained in there is an incredible maze to try to navigate and they can't do it. It's more burdensome. Very often, they can't find state agencies or individuals in state government that can help them get through the process. And there are those where state agencies are in conflict with each other. State agencies are not accountable as far as time deadlines and getting back to them and working with them. So those were the general themes that the culture of state government was problematic as well as those maze of regulations. There was some that, continue, that were testified at just about every hearing. They're cited in there. The notification provision of the Wage Theft Prevention Act was one of them. And we have an estimate of there uh, in that we believe that it costs employers upwards of $180 million across the state. Now that $180 million that costs employers is passed on to consumers. So it costs everybody. The scaffold law, which I know that there are people that fall on both sides of it, was talked about at almost every hearing. Uh, unfunded mandates, it crossed into government. Just the term was, was talked about all the time. But we got into some things when we talked with certain groups, they, they got very specific, like Senator Marchon uh, mentioned when people were talking about the hospitality industry, they talked about things specific to them. One that came up with car dealers, and it only affects them, is a requirement that they keep a written record of their inventory subject to inspection by a motor vehicle inspector upon demand. Well, that takes them 15 minutes per car. We've estimated that costs several million dollars for new cars alone, and we would argue that just like the report that we gave you on a disc, those records, the dealers have, uh, they all have computers, and to fill out the paperwork, they go to the computer, pull it up, and write it out. So we had similar things like that, Tom, that, uh, that time that the regulations have not kept up with technology. There are a number of those in there. But outside of that, it was really the, the bigger picture, the culture of state agencies, the lack of responsiveness, the timeliness, and that in, incredible maze in how hard it is to navigate without help from state agencies.